Good morning, everyone. It is October 4th, and it is 11.05 in the morning. I'm at the uh, train station, actually, in Okayama right now. Waiting for a train to go to Fukuyama, so that means you know who you're gonna see in the video. But, yeah, so let, let me be completely honest with you. Yesterday, I did like two exercises, and then I was like, okay, let's take some, uh, let's take the progress pictures, take the physique update video, whatever. But, I am, I'm, I'm, I can like only, I don't know how to do like most of the poses. Most of my posing is pretty effing bad. And, uh, getting like good, good lighting or getting good angle or having the freaking camera focus uh, is very difficult to do when you're just like putting it on a timer and then like running into the shot and trying to try to pose all within 10 seconds so uh, the posing and taking pictures taking final progress pictures and um, taking the physique update video took a lot longer than I expected it took like an hour and a half so by the time I finished with all the pictures and videos it was like six 15 and it was dark outside and there were, it, was, it was time to close up the school because they actually lock up the school um, a little earlier on the weekend so yeah I got two exercises in and then I just uh, <laughs> didn't do anything except for take pictures and take videos and then I went to sleep uh, and then I peaced out so didn't really do anything yesterday but today I plan to even though I'm going to Fukuyama and it's a Sunday I plan to get a workout in at a at a, at a gym that I haven't been to in Japan, so it should be interesting. Right. So I've made it here, here in Fukuyama. I need to get a freaking haircut. <laughs> this hair's like all in my face. Look who it is. Oh, it's Judas the Shadow. <laughs> it's Yasue. She's back! So today is pretty much to celebrate, um, celebrate the end of the, the cut, for one. It's pretty, like, I'll explain, I'm gonna go into detail about it later, but just right now, I'm like, I'm very hungry and I'm dying right now, so, you know, once we, once we settle down, but to just celebrate the end of the cut and 500 subscribers, it's gonna be a, it's just a non-counting day and hanging out with Yasuo and we're gonna go to, we're gonna do some chores that she has to do. <laughs> yeah, do some chores, right? Like, take care of your preparation. Yeah, but also we're gonna go to two different restaurants and just eat and enjoy and, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited to eat some food. But, uh. But, uh. What am I even saying? I don't know. Did you see at the station? Like. At the station, two people, like, walked into me. I was standing still just recording myself, you know? And two people walked into me, and then they, like, looked back like I did something wrong. Idiots. <laughs> All right, all right, so as you can see, we're up in here at Kaiten Zushi, and this probably, after going to three different ones in um, Okayama and Hiroshima, I probably have to say that this one, this is a Sushiro, is my favorite one, just because they have like a huge variety, and um, holy moly, a big ass shrimp. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna take this, give me that. But anyways, they have a huge variety here, and so it just makes it very interesting to, you know, try all the different stuff. And it's pretty cheap, so I really like this one. Actually, Yasuo said she doesn't like Sushiro, and she hasn't been... I, when is the last time you came here? Uh, when I was a college student. She hasn't been here since she was a college student, so it's been a while for her, so maybe things have changed. That is the best this thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. For dessert, for dessert. Oh man. So anyways. I'm not gonna go for a record or anything right now. I'm just gonna enjoy, you know, slowly take it in. But uh, yeah, this is the first this is my first meal of the day and kind of like the first way to celebrate the end of my cuts. Oh man. By the way, the wait said 35 minutes. We asked for a counter. We got here in like literally three minutes. So this is actually my first time sitting on a counter um, at a Kaizen Zushi place. But it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Do you like tables or counters better? Table. Yeah, probably me too, but this is kind of nice too. It's different, it's different. It's mixing it up. Ham. Yeah. 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 Alright, so all my stuff kind of came in at the same time, so uh, <laughs> got a bunch of plates here. 
Man, yeah, so the first time I ever went to a sushi roll, which is the name of this this chain of uh, conveyor belt sushis, I told myself I'm gonna try to eat as many as I can because you know in America we don't really have this and it's not this cheap. So the first time I ever went to sushi roll, I tried to eat as many as I could, and I only got 22 plates, and I was like done, you know. But right now, I got 26 plates so far, and I'm not even like stuffed. I feel perfectly fine. Must be... Actually, I don't know why, but... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not like... I don't feel bad at all, but the first time I ever came, I only got 22, and now I'm just like killing it. So I got like a crunchy blaze top, pie crust, and apple custard. This thing is delicious! Yeah, this is the perfect blend of a little bit of sweetness and the real bitterness of the chocolate. Delicious. <laughs> last, last thing I'm eating today. We got 28 plates so far of stuff. This is the last one. All right, Yasser, where are we? <laughs> Can I walk us all driving? <laughs> So we're in this parking lot garage. Yeah, so I was really scared because, uh, you know, not the best driver. No, just kidding. <laughs> but we just finished eating. Um, I got 29, wait, 29? 28? 29. Uh, 29. 29. I got 29 plates. And like I told you guys before, the first time I ever went, you know, I wanted to get as many as I could get. I got, only got 22 and I was stuffed. Last time with Brian, I set an all-time record. I got 33, and I felt absolutely terrible. I couldn't move. I wasn't exaggerating in that video. I felt like I, I tr went to the restroom, tried to poop, nothing happened. I just felt like I couldn't move. It was terrible. And then eventually, they asked us to leave because we were just sitting there for a really long time doing nothing. But this time, man, like I just ate 29 plates, and I wasn't even trying to eat a lot. This time, I was literally just sitting there, just eating to enjoy the food, you know. And I got 29 plates, and I don't even feel, I don't feel bad at all. I feel like a little full, but not bad at all. So I think uh, these past few times, I'm like spitting in the camera. The past few times where I've overstuffed myself, my stuff, maybe my stomach has expanded or something, because I don't feel too bad at all. I feel pretty good. And for dinner, for dinner, we're, <laughs> we're going to another. We're going to an all-you-can-eat place that sounds so good, and I'm very excited. But Still got a little, we got like three hours until then, so right now we're doing some shopping because are you going next weekend? No. Next, next? No. Next, next, next? In three days. What this, the hell? This coming Wednesday. What the heck? Where are you going this coming Wednesday, Yasue? I'm going to Germany. Holy moly! She's going to Germany, so we're doing, sh she's, doing sh she's doing shopping, I'm just gonna like, tag along. She's getting prepared for her trip to Germany. That's pretty cool. Mm. What are you doing in Germany, anyways? It you locked me in. <laughs> no, I didn't. You locked. How can I lock it? So, what are you doing in Germany? Um, they're gonna have a 175 anniversary in Hanover YMCA. So. So we'll attend that ceremony. That's pretty crazy. Hanover YMCA. Fukuyama YMCA. Jeez. So what are we doing, Yasser? Are we playing video games or something? Are we going bowling? <laughs> Whoa! So we're at Don Quixote, the store that sells everything. It's gonna be interesting. What? Do you need a basket? Dude, guys, check this out. Cola body soap. It actually, it's, I mean, it's written in English right here, the description there. Yeah, but maybe in Japan. Yeah, wow. But this smells like Coca-Cola. Oh my gosh, it's body soap. I'm really curious. Hey guys, would you like it if I smelled like Coca-Cola? Bike shop, motorcycle shop. Oh, look. Red Baron! Red Baron pizza! <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to attempt to go to this gym. So the YMCA, uh, that's why the gym's closed on Sunday. But check, check out what they have here in Fukuyama. This is pretty ridiculous. 
Let me zoom in, let me zoom it in. You see that? <laughs> anytime fitness, wow. They have an anytime fitness here in Japan, so we're gonna try to get in with like a trial pass. <laughs> 500 yen trial pass, hopefully uh, everything goes well. So we can work out and then, you know, prepare ourselves for the feast that is going to be dinner. All right, so we finished working out at Anytime Fitness. Definitely not like in American Anytime Fitness. They only had like, you know, a few machines. Like they had one bench slash, they had one squat rack, one Smith machine, a leg press machine. See, I can like name them all for you because they had so, so little equipment. But they had one, one squat rack, one Smith machine, one leg press, one cable crossover, shoulder press, rear delt slash row, uh, chest press machine, um, a leg extension machine, and that's pretty much it. Did I say shoulder press? Yeah, that's pretty much it. And they had an ab crunch machine. That's all they had for machines. Then they had like dumbbells. That The increments on the dumbbells are pretty good. They went up two kilos at a time. Only up to 30 ki ki kilos though, which is, you know, good enough for the uh, like recreational gym goer. And they had uh, quite a few cardio equipment. So, you know, it's not bad for recreational and you can still do quite a few exercises there. So I didn't finish everything. I just did like most of my shoulder workout, traps, and then one bicep work exercise. But we had to get out of there because we're going to dinner. We're going to dinner. So <laughs> I have a lingering suspicion that Yasuo is not even that hungry yet. <laughs> I'm getting hungry after that oh, yeah? machine. She did the cardio away. machine at the end. She did the elliptical at the end. <laughs> she did the elliptical at the end just so she could make herself a little hungrier. Which is not a bad idea, you know? Hmm. So, see ya at dinner. It's kind of, kind of nice scenery over there. Look at that, they got little lanterns over there and stuff. All right. Do you want to narrate here? Start, start some narration. Just, just take the camera and then like, you know, point it and talk about where we're going. <laughs> so like, we're going, right now we're going to... <laughs> at the request, okay. at the request eh? of Giovanna Banana or whatever. We are, is narrating. we are going to Onyasai. Hi. Just explain it, you don't <laughs> just say we're going to here and then do it. Shabu shabu tabe hodai. All you can eat. Oh, shabu shabu. <laughs> Vegetables, cheese. Oh wow, the cheese, holy moly. Mm. Hey, by the way, look, I'm wearing the shirt that Yasuo got me today. This is mm. the exchange large version 360. Mm. Looks good. <laughs> All right, thanks, dude. Sit here. <laughs> All right, so so uh, Yasuo's got the camera, okay, and she's gonna narrate and explain about this whole place. I'm gonna leave it to her because at the request of Joanna Banana. Wait, <laughs> let me make sure. That's, that's look, kind wait, of rude. Sure yes. <laughs> let me make sure that's. Uh... Oh, wow. Okay, at the request of Joanna Banana, she said, "Hey, you should get." Joanna Banana, you should ask Yasue to narrate a chapter. Hey Yasue, can you narrate this chapter? Yes. Yada. <laughs> so now Yasue is, Yasu is going to do all the talking, explain where we are and what we're doing. So, all right, go ahead. We are at Onyasai, this one. So here's all you can eat. Shabu shabu. So show, show them the... Soup. We ordered... Uh, spicy soup and it's a Chinese style soup. Okay. We got pork, chicken, beef, and beef. And beef. And chicken. And some vegetables. Um, size. Here is size. 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 So explain how this place works. How do we work? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, you can explain. She's complaining. Now. She's complaining. <laughs> yeah. She's complaining. Yes, I am. So 
first we choose the meat meat course? The type. Type of meat. Uh -huh. And we chose this beef pork. It doesn't say chicken but actually it's a chicken is included. And nice. nice. <laughs> okay. And and that's it. We choose soup from here. So there's many different types of soups, as you can see. Mm. Which one? Which ones did we get? Good. Which one did we choose? This one. Oh. Shisenfu, a spicy hot pot, and this is naka. Are herbs? Chinese herbs. Okay. Yeah, Chinese herbs, hot pot, and. They have tomato and citrus, salt or sukiyaki or um, soybean milk, dashi curry and Japanese style. Right. Hi. And tell them about tell them about um, the meats here. Explain. Right, so this is the one that we chose, and you can choose any of these types of meat. Although it only said pork and uh, beef. There's actually chicken here, so that's really nice. And then what is all... What is... Explain this stuff. See, all of these have a price, and I was like, you gotta pay for vegetables, man, but what's the, what's the truth? Uh, we can order from here, too. Those are for all you can eat. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nice. So this is she's my favorite and pritzkune. But um, plum is on it. Wow. And this is a normal tsumine. Wow. Hi. This stuff looks good as hell. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Right. Nice. So uh you know, we like to like to you know respond to the subscribers, so thank you guys. And I hope hopefully you enjoyed Yasuo's narrating. <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed it. She's all embarrassed than she is. Hey, what are you doing there? <laughs> hey, come on, man. What are you doing? Take out some oil. I don't foam. know. What? Foam. Foams. Yeah, the foam. 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 Yeah. So she's taking out the foam. I don't know what that comes from, but like when you put the meat in there, there's like foam coming to the top, and what, is it like make it dirty or something? Mm. Anyways, we don't like it, so we take it out because you're supposed to. You put it in this pot, pot of foam. <laughs> okay. Mushrooms on one side. Mushrooms on the other side. Get in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Shroomerinos. All the shrooms. Mm. Okay, what's this? Um, Mizuna. <laughs> kind of vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now, how do you put those in? Let's see. Is it meatballs? Oh, you do one at a time? Oh! And it turns into meatballs? Wow, that's cool. Is there shiso in that? Yeah. Oh, I love shiso. I love shiso. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Focus. Focus. Mmm. Yeah, the this is the beast roast. Roast. I'm gonna try out. Let's try this out. We got like mochi, mochi tofu, fried tofu, and dumplings in there as well. We got the special cheese, and this is a, kind of special. That was very redundant. Alright, yeah, so you wanna show them how to do the cheese? Okay. Alright. How do you do this cheese? Here we go. Yasuo says her favorite thing here is this cheese, so let's watch how the master of, of cheese does it. Alright. So it's like frozen at first. Put it in this. Okay. Alright, explain. Eh? You can explain. All right, so she got, so the cheese is frozen at first, and then you put it in the spoon with the soup, and it's very timing is key. She told me timing is key because if you put it too long, it just melts and you can't pick it up anymore. But if you put it too short, it's still frozen. It's perfect. So, so there, that's you can, you can yeah. So that's like perfect for her. 
So cheese, man. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put it in my. I'm gonna burn my mouth. So that looks. Yeah, that looks melted as hell. Yeah. No. I'm gonna get burned. <laughs> Mmm. Good? Well, it's like super crispy. It's like moss. No! That's me. It's too like, chewy. Yeah. Mmm. So it's mozzarella cheese and it is pretty freaking good. Miso? Yeah. So I am going to try to see what the difference is between all the types of meat we got. So the chicken, the chicken's just chicken. There's like really no flavor. So yeah, chicken has almost no flavor. Now this one, this is the beef roast, and it is pretty good. It's like, it's not, it looks kind of fatty, but once you put it on, the, I think the fat like melts off, right? So eat it, this is pretty good. Not, it doesn't feel fatty at all when you're eating it, it's just delicious. So this, this is the kalbi, we're gonna try this out. Can you, can you hold this real quick? I wanna see what the kalbi is like. Let's compare the kalbi and the um, roast beef. So this is the kalbi, here we go. So the kalbi, kalbi is a lot chewier, and you can definitely taste the fat on it. I, like even when you look at it, there's like a bunch of fat on it. So the roast, it comes out leaner when mm -hmm. you take it out of the soup. Kalbi, there's like still a lot of fat on it. It's pretty good. Mm. Pretty good. Oh. Right here is the umami gyu. And it's like, it looks like there's, it's pretty lean, and yeah, so I said it's semi-processed. So let's see how this one tastes in comparison to the roast and the kalbi. Here, can you put the camera on? Alright, so we're gonna taste the umami <laughs> So, the umami yu. Like it has no resistance, you know, just, it just crumbles. Yeah. I think it's because it's processed, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you said, it's processed, right? Mm -hmm. So it just crumbles. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like the inside of a hot dog or something like that. It just crumbles. But it tastes pretty good, mm -hmm. but it's extremely soft. Mm -hmm. And my favorite one was the roast. I think I, I the roast the best. I think I can remember though. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm curious how many trays of meat we had. Like, of course we've had vegetables and like dumplings and cheese and meatballs and uh, tofu, there's tofu in there, and a bunch of mushrooms, mushroom. Hey guys, why wasn't the fun guy invited to the party? Because there wasn't mushroom. <laughs> hey, got another one. Why was the mushroom kicked out of the party? Because he wasn't a fun guy. Ah! <laughs> Putting in the uh, kabocha, kabocha squash. Alright guys, Yasuo is out of the game. It's a solo mission. I've had like, the last five, I gotta do it alone. Cause Yasuo is out, she's done. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was almost laughing. Our dessert came in, you know, we ordered this thing, and this thing. They come in the thing, they're like, okay, well, here's here's our dessert. You gotta, look at this, guys. You gotta be effing kidding me. You gotta be kidding me, look at this. Congratulations. On 500 subscribers, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Yeah, so I, oh my gosh, dude, she got got me a freaking cake that says congratulations on 500 subscribers. That's that's so freaking nice. Thank you. Holy moly! Congratulations. It's not even a big deal, but damn, <laughs> it's not a big deal at all. But jeez, thank you. Celebration for 500 subscribers. Wow, that is so nice. Holy moly. Happy birthday. <laughs> yeah, I was like, did you give me like a birthday cake? What the hell? Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, it's going. If I fuck, I'm gonna try to blow this out. If I fuck this up, I'm gonna kill myself. What? Already? Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, you almost messed me up. This ice cream is delicious. She's got like a, I don't know what that is, like a hard shell and then like red bean ice cream inside. Monaka ice cream. Monaka ice. What's the what's Monaka? Ice. Oh, the shell. Mm -hmm. But what kind of ice cream? Like red bean? Red beans. Ooh. I'm getting real full, guys. All right, guys. So I'm not gonna lie. This is um. 
like the second time in my life, I think only the second time in my life that I've truly like been surprised. You know sometimes like it's like around your birthday time and your friends are like, hey, what kind of cake do you like? It's like, okay, you're gonna buy me a birthday cake. One time in college I got surprised for real, I had no idea it was coming and my friends took me to a restaurant and then at the end they like brought me out a birthday cake and I was like, what the fuck? And then this is the second time in my life, like, you know, if Yasuo had got me like a random like souvenir or something, it would have been like, okay, whatever. Like, not like I can expect that maybe. But I had no idea that she would like prepare such a thing for 500 subs. <laughs> it's not really, it's not really a big deal. Like no one cares. Like no one on YouTube gives a crap. You know, and it's just personally, I'm just like, oh, 500 subs. But she actually like did this so like nice, and like, she didn't have to do it. But yeah, very thankful. Thank you, Asoe. I'm very, very moved. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Jeez. Jeez, man. So it's shabu shabu? Yeah. It's so, I don't think it's like the food itself, it's light. Think so? Are you recording? Yeah. We're talking about, we're talking about like, um, I wasn't even like, I, I was saying I think my stomach's getting stronger because I wasn't even completely hungry, like, you know, because we ate, we finished eating in sushi at 3 and it was a lot, actually. And then we ate, started eating here at like 7 15. So, but I don't even, we ate a lot, and I'll show you the receipt, but I don't even, I feel full, but I'm not like dying, dying, you know. Like when I was with Brian at the sushi, Kappa Sushi, I felt like I was dying, but right now I feel just really full. So I think I'm getting stronger, but Yasuo is like, well, it's hot pot, it's not that much, but you didn't eat two big bowls of rice. I ate noodles. You shit, like a tiny, like a handful of noodles. <laughs> I ate two big bowls of rice. I ate like three-fourths of the meat. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. Yeah, two bowls of rice? Yeah, That's it's pretty, it was kind of a lot. A lot. That, that was like 700 car 700 that was like 600 to 700 calories of rice so I feel like I could go all day tomorrow and not eat I'm pretty I had a lot of food I think I had like 5,000 calories today that I'm not gonna lie guys that's what you that's what you don't want to do after you finish dieting is just binge out like this but you know I don't really give a crap like I'm gonna enjoy it, and as you can see, she prepared something very nice for me, so I don't really care. But you know, uh, for the next few days, I'm gonna, I'm going to start, you know, counting my macros again, increase my carbs a little bit, um, you know, so I can get rid of this. This extra weight will go back down actually in a few days, but um, yeah, gonna get back on it. But yeah, don't. I'm not trying to give you guys an example and be like, hey after you finish dieting, go crazy. It's just that, it's just how it was, you know, and, because actually Yasuo is busy for like the next like month and a half or something, right? Yeah. yeah, so we're like, okay, well, this is the only chance we're gonna have to hang out and celebrate, you know, end of the cut, 500 subs, whatever, so, yeah, and it ended up just, we just enjoyed the day, you know, didn't really think about what we're eating or anything, or I didn't. Yasuo never has to, but. Yeah, so, very fun, enjoyable day. Got to do a lot of different things and, or things that I like to do, eat, work out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yasuo, Yasuo worked out too though. Jet, jet life? Jet life. Eats. Eating or training. Yeah, but I mean, yes. dieting, dieting, not really eating too yeah. much, you know. Dieting, eating, yeah. dieting or bulking. <laughs> Look at her well, learning the words. Look at her learning the well, words. Cheap. Traveling. Yeah, traveling's nice. Mm -hmm. But and the recording. Yeah. Um What was I gonna say? I'm losing it. Oh actually yeah, so with the with the cut, you know, it it lasted way longer than it should have. I won't be very honest. Like, I could have finished that cut in three or four months. Easily. Easily. But, like I said, you know, it was summer and being in Japan for me is like, 
Like for a Japanese person, you know, being in Japan, nothing special, right? Mm. Like living in Japan, that's like normal, right? But mm. for me, you know, I'm a foreigner. I'm an American and being li living life in Japan, it's kind of like a, it's temporary, you know? It's not a lifetime thing. It's like a once in a, it's gonna be, it, it's like lasting a while, but it is gonna be like that kind of once in a lifetime experience. So although, you know, it's like, oh yeah, I wanna cut, get finished with my cut. I'm not gonna let the cut that, that my fitness goals just stop me from enjoying, you know, like these experiences that might happen just once in a life, you know? So with the vacations and the traveling and just enjoying the life, I, I decided that that was more important to me than just, uh, by the way, that's where Yasui bought the cakes from. <laughs> the, I mean, bought the, the, the gift cake from, yeah. So anyways, yeah, I, I prioritized that over, you know, getting this cut done with as fast as possible, you know. So, I mean, that's, that's one thing I do want to encourage. Like, of course, you're going to follow your fitness goals, stay on track, but also, you know, enjoying life and making sure that, you know, you're not missing out on experiences and things like that. Definitely should put that ahead of, you know, just cutting. <laughs> what did you just say? Say that again. <laughs> I want to dive. Oh, on the bed. I thought you said, I want to die on no, the bed. No, 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 die. Because she's so full and she just wants to go to sleep. And now, guys, just to prove to you that we're not bullshitting, we had we ordered a lot. So here's the receipt, ready? Okay, all this, every single thing is something we ordered. <laughs> so, you ate this. a lot. Yeah, I ate a lot, Your dude. Last part? Yeah, at the end, Last I just started three, shoving see, stuff in my mouth. Minutes. Yeah, I started just shoving. <laughs> yeah. I was like taking it slow and relaxing, yes. you know, but then I was like, okay, time's running out. They're definitely gonna kick us out. We got kicked out in the end after like 30 minutes. We stayed mm. past the limit. Um, but yeah, I started shoving food. I lit like the end, I had the bowl of rice and all the meat. I started shoving that in my mouth. That's probably why I'm so full now. But I cannot believe it, guys. Seriously. This cut was like six months, seven months, and you know, at the beginning it wasn't too bad. The last month was pretty difficult though, like just mentally and my body felt very tired. So, I'm just, it, just kind of, it feels kind of unreal that it's my finally over, you know, it's like a that was a long time of my life, like half a year, you know, half a year trying to die in shiz. It's kind of weird that it's, that it's a finally over. And now I can slowly go back into a bulk. But it's gonna be sad when all my six pack and everything disappears, you know? I, I showed Yasei my little transformation picture that I posted and she was like, are you flexing? Like in, my, in the bulk picture, she was like, are you even flexing? Yes, I'm freaking flexing, I'm just fat, come on. So. All right, so I'm about to go now. 10.19. 10.07. Oh, so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, Yasui. Yeah, Thanks for everything today. Thanks for coming going around with me. And thank you so much for the the cake. That was uh, very unbelievable. Alright guys. Just got back to Tsuyama Station and it is 1243 AM. And yes, I have work today. Not that I have any classes for today, but still gotta be there. So, and today, in order to save a, a bit of dough, you know? So, get this guys, I don't know if I ever broke it down for you, but it takes, it takes 1,140 yen to get from Tsuyama to Okayama, and then 970 yen to get from Okayama to Fukuyama, and those are by local trains. Because you can take the bullet train from Okayama to Fukuyama, but it's a lot more expensive that way. But, you know, normally when I stay over for like, in the past when I've stayed over for a night or whatever, and I bring my suitcase, I take the taxi from my apartment to the station, right? Well, the taxi from my apartment to the station takes at least 18.50 yen. So that... If I take the taxi from my apartment to the station, and then, you know, when I come back to Tsuyama and I take the a taxi from the station to my apartment, that's almost the same cost 
that short distance is almost the same cost as all the way from um, Tsuyama to Fukuyama by train. So yeah, it's kind of a big, you know, it's that's not a lot of money. But when I have a big suitcase or whatever, you know, I got to do it. You know, so, but today, since there was really no, I did not need to do that. Since I didn't do any crazy shopping or anything, you know. I did not take the taxi. I rode my Mama Chari from my apartment to the station. So now, I just got back at, uh, I don't know if you can see me, but I just got back at 12, it's 12.43, like I said. And now I got to ride my Mama Chari from the station back to my apartment. And on the way back, it's a good like 20, 25 minutes because it's uphill, so I am pretty tired. So if I don't, this might be, if I don't record anything later, guys, thanks for coming along today. Where the F? Where is all the parking? Okay. They changed the bicycle place. Yeah, but anyways, if this is the end, last thing I record today. Then thanks for tagging along. Thanks for joining me on my little mini, mini uh, celebration of the end of the cut. 500 subs. I'm probably gonna talk about the end of the cut again because I want to like. Oh, I'm definitely gonna make a video about you know my transfer transformation or whatever. So stay tuned for that, guys. Oh, the lights over here. Stay tuned for that, guys. But until next time, peace out.